What's up, YouTube? Cheers. Welcome back to the first Rap Fantasy League or Fantasy Rap League, whichever way you want to say it. My name is Bruce Lively, representing Team Box Cutter. And it's your boy over here, Josh, at All G's, representing the G family. Okay, so you know how this is. We picked on Sunday, um, and at least my team did, picked on Sunday the video we were going to go head to head with. We had Tupac, All G's React Channel, had Black Thought, and the videos were, for me, we had Dear Mama. And it's going up against what? The Roots, Dear Ooh. God. Man, I'm trying to tell ah. you, man, hey, this is crap. I'm trying to tell you, the similarities we keep having blows <laughs> me away. You know what I'm saying? It yes, was T.I. Yes. versus T.I. You know what I'm saying? Now we got Dear Mama and Dear God. And Dear God, yes. Dear God <laughs> 2.0, that is. Yeah, man. Every every week something happens that <laughs> reminds us that we're doing the right thing here. Yeah, <laughs> it's in Crazy. the cards. It's definitely supposed to. Supposed, this is destiny right here. But that word is meant for what's happening right now. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So listen, this is the first fantasy battle rap or fantasy rap league uh, where we put them head to head. The winner video will be out on Friday. But right now you're gonna hear this sound. Every time we think points have been made, they won't be the final score. We'll go through, research, add, add or subtract as we need for the next few days. But right now in the head-to-head, -head, you'll hear that sound every time we think points have been made and we'll discuss it right here. Are you ready, sir? Indeed. With that being said, let go. First off, let's just make sure we know that first one is Tupac, Dear Mama. I didn't say that, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, I had to stop it just to talk about these few points that's being made already. Um, number one, that sample is just class the one of the most classic samples of all time <laughs> to this day you remember that i know it's old 70s sample but anyway the music is pretty good it's, it's, a, it's a sample uh with with the drums on there but there's a there is a sneaky skill that's going on here it sounds like he's just using the exact same flow for the past 58 seconds of the song the truth is, the subtle changes, the hey, uh, and and little small displacements of the of of the words, um, either the rhyming words or the secondary rhyming words, the jail cell, uh, hugging mama from my jail cell, da 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 da, hey, da na 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 na, nah. oh, da na 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 na, nah. da those. It seems like, yeah, that's the same flow, but it's not. There's a piece at the end or a piece in the beginning or a piece before it that he changed that makes the song keep on going. I almost never really recognize that or realize that when he's rapping, but it just came to me now. It's a, um, it's, it's a character. I always, me, you know me, I like to say it's a character change, basically. Okay. Like the hey is like, it's kind of like to, to let you know while the bar he might have spit before might have been something like maybe considered negative or sad you know what i'm saying he then comes in with another bar explaining something but being like hey you know like to show that this is not really that bad of an ordeal you know this is something great to be celebrated so he's putting these yeah. character changes in here to help you understand this song totally so think of it not not so much as your standard song, but like as a, a poem. You know what I'm saying? How how poetry is written. There's certain it's things. Outstanding. You know what I'm saying? Certain things put into poetry to let you know, to give you the expression. And that's what he's doing with these with these changes that you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Something that normally you would probably hear like that. Hey, to, to be put in the background while he's still rapping. He's letting you know like this is coming from me 
totally. So this, I mean, this is why this is why we love this song. <laughs> I mean, this is why we love this song. <laughs> love it, man. Love it. Content already. You already know, man. Everybody has a mama. Uh, you gotta love that and his transparency with you know with his mom. How she first started talking about how she got pregnant when she had it when she was in jail to begin with. And it's like, yo, who who admits that? But that's just how real he was. Everything about this song is a perfect representation of what makes Pac the guy that he was. And Pac is very open and very vulnerable. Let me just say this and then I'm done. Um, he's, he's telling you, you know, a lot of songs you hear when it's about some parental stuff, it's either a full apology or it's a blame. You know what I'm saying? Like right. blaming the parent or they're taking full responsibility for the actions. This one is actually a back and forth. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like you're hearing the back and forth that's going on. Six. He's taking responsibility for his actions, but also bringing to light some of the actions his mom did that wasn't necessarily the best action that could have helped their future. So wow, this I right here, it, yeah, yeah, reality, to bro. It, yeah, that's what it is. This is this right here is the core of reality rap, like KRS One would say. This is reality mm. rap for you. Mm. All right, I, go ahead. I love it. Let's go. Let's talk about that. Um, number one, the whole first half of that rhyme was this crazy technique of only rhyming with the secondary words of the of the of the sentence before. Uh, he was like, you know, when mama died or my dad died. Oh yeah, he said, anger made me not want to cry for a stranger. You think he should be rhyming with cry because he just set it up, right? But he just did a secondary rhyme right there. And he does that every other bar. Um, the, the thug showed him love. Didn't rhyme it, whatever that was before that. Uh, he did the, the crazy, his, his signature, but then didn't rhyme with that on the next one. It's a really interesting style that keeps you listening and waiting for this pulse that never really happens yeah. while the story is being told. I like it. I like it. Uh, breaking it down really... Let's me see the things that I didn't see when I used to be like, oh, Pac is pretty dope, but you know, he's not this or not that. It's but, uh, it's an intricacy uh, that's I, in there. I start to see the intricacies in the poetry. It's just not like other rappers. Yes, that's that's what it is. It's it's uh hip hop is still you know very young at this age because in a time of you know hip hop being so young, you did have guys trying to start to actually play with that flow and play with them rhyming skills you know what i mean and when you sit back mm -hmm. and start investigating lyrics you find that some of some of these guys while yeah some of it is you know persona is why they're so big but when you start looking at what they really wrote and what they was really rapping you like okay so he deserves he deserves to be known like that because of what he's done and Pac is one of them right that's it that's it uh, every year I get older, he gets better. Yeah. Let's keep going. This, so we, we on verse number three. Yeah. Here we go. I wonder if you heard those um, those singers in the background, how they how they changed it up every other one. Verse one is. Uh, I can't even see. Uh, 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 like it's real soft in the background, just adding this texture to the music uh, as that ride cymbal starts to play. Um, Pretty good, pretty good. The, the, the music, the, the loop just keeps on going over and over and over again. So it's not gonna go that crazy. But harmony, there, 
Um, yeah. Content, of course. I mean, every other word he said is says something about, you know. Video wise, where, where, he was telling a story while rapping a different, you know, while rapping a story, but telling you one in the video as well. I don't agree. I don't agree. Uh, I thought the video was an exact representation of everything he was saying and not very, um, what do you call that? Not, not very artistic at all. I, I think it was literally, especially for the first two verses, like he talked about his brother yeah, and then it'd just be a picture of his brother, uh, I, a hot meal and it'd be a meal in front of him. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, you helped me out when I needed you and mom was serving him, serving him, um, uh, cough medicine there, uh, there, I was there, bad and it showed him getting shot up and it's like there was really no artistry in that video at there all was, besides uh, that. uh there was there's there's subtle there's sort of subtle imagery involved uh is what I'm kind of speaking on like when he's kind of talking about some of the mother hardships that you'll notice they'll they'll cut back to her being in prison and being pregnant you know what I mean uh, in, mm -hmm. in the third verse, they show a little bit more about her being. They show the news clipping with the police versus the Panthers. They show the Black Panther thing, which is not really brought up in the song, but shown through the video imagery itself. You know what I'm saying? So, those were just the subtle things that they were throwing in there. Wow, like you said, of course, the imagery is following the song, but there's certain subtle uh, takes that's put in to help bring forth what he said. But uh, we'll see how you score that, and that's why we average both points to make it completely fair. We'll see what y'all think about that. But yeah, that's Dear Mama, man. Points everywhere. Now, Video. Man. I th now it's time for the Black Thought joint. Now it's Dear God. <laughs> Ooh, all right, let's, get, let's do it. You ready? First off, uh, before we even... Go ahead click it you can see the roots dear god 2.0 in the sign uh on on the the convenience store <laughs> <laughs> already i didn't there. even see that yet yeah yeah i didn't even see it because it's black on my screen <laughs> oh man so. yeah this, you already know this video is, is about to be that's what i'm talking about the, the artistry is about to be something different, I believe. You know, I uh, already watched it to try to get some insight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, let's do this. Go ahead. There it is. Oh, I didn't notice this. Okay, we'll talk about that later. Actually, I got to stop it again real quick. Do you? Wow, we don't have a kid being kicked out in the very first scene. We do have these boys here in this convenience store, and like in the other, in the Tupac Dear Mama, you'll see the similarities here in a second. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, let's go. I see that. All right. Yo, what are we talking about? What you got, man? <laughs> <We> gotta... <laughs> right. is, first of all, go ahead. Go all, ahead. all right. First off, the rhyme scheme is crazy. All right. Yeah. Every bar he was hitting it. Then he hit it with a double, uh, a double rhyme, and then he fell right back into the flow, and then he'd do it again. So I don't know if y'all caught that or not, but I was listening for that. Uh I'm gonna say this real quick on a little bit of a cultural social standpoint too for people to understand why he okay. chose to be a cab driver in this video. Go ahead. Cab drivers, at, at the time of this video was made, cab drivers are some of the only people that come in contact with so many different people. Hear mm -hmm. so of many, all, di yeah, all, all type, all types. They come of, I mean, of all religions. You know what I'm saying? All, all gender choosings of all, all, all sexual. 
they come economic. in contact. Economic. Economic. It, does, it doesn't matter your, your stance in society. Rich, poor, you know, whether whether you're trapping or whether you're on, on um, uh, 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 Wall Street. They come Wall Street. In, they yeah, all they, use the they, same taxi driver. Yes. They all come in contact with, this, with that broad amount of people. So when he's hmm. going through the song talking about all these different things that are happening, you know, like we said, all, he said everything's made in China, so are we Chinese? You know what I'm saying? Like he's going through all these different things and he's showing you in the video. I got this guy back here, this high roller, back here with all these women. I got this Jewish guy back here. I got this businessman with his briefcase who's passed out sleep, probably been working a bunch. You know what I'm saying? He has all these different people in the back of his taxi cab and he's talking about all these problems that affect everyone so that's mm -hmm. one of the reasons why the the the, uh, the the taxi cab driver is taken position is taken okay uh i got some things here too we got to talk about the fact that quest love is killing it on the drums <laughs> we gotta talk about the fact that the live music is always going to be samples up almost i mean unless it's just the best thing i've ever heard right this the reason why is timbre the reason why nothing sounds like that wooden stick on the 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 skin drum head on 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 metal and the way how quest is changing up this beat every bar boo cut boo 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 cut boo 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 cut boo boo oh god this keeps on going <laughs> yo yo your boy quest it's got to be the best hip-hop drummer alive number two it's going to be hard to beat someone talking about things that affect the world yes with your own personal rap. Right. We love Pac for the personal rap, but when it comes to the content of cultural importance, he's going from jobs to religion to the hood to economics. Corner store. Yeah, economics. To, economics, to, to all of uh, it. And he's speaking, even if not profoundly on some of it, in depth. Right. In, in a sentence. Right. It, uh, with understanding in a sentence. Right. Uh, that's what Black Thought is some of the best at. Let's keep this going, man. It, points, points, points. Let's keep it going. <laughs> Made that sacrifice for something great. Oh, man. Yes. And then you also have to to hear the guy singing in the background. Let me run it back just real quick during this part. So while he's getting robbed, he's having that being said there in the background. You know, it's so yeah. hard to believe, you know. So that right there is that's 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 great. Great the way they did that. Wow man, that was crazy. Um so let's talk about a couple things. I did not notice when I watched this for my research. I didn't even notice that in the beginning of the video, he's getting robbed. Yeah. Yes. And so they brought him back to the beginning with the end. Yeah. Full circle. When you're talking about God, any any mention of full circle, beginning and the end, Alpha Omega, these things are always yes, uh, yes. always plot points that are used when you're talking when when the subject matter is God. Right. So very well done, well written, well well shot movie. I love it. Yes, uh, and if you content, of course, we talked about that. Hold on, real quick. If you if you did catch it, you would think that he's going through this this talk with God because he got robbed um, in the beginning but really he was going through the talk with God before the robbery ever even happened so, that, right. so that's the right. thing that's one of the clever uh, antidotes they added to it but go ahead that's it man that, that music is just it's just hard to beat bro <laughs> The music is just hard to beat, man. Like, 
It's all live. I heard the I heard your boy Quest Love pulled out the brushes at the end. And the bass is just the the harmony and the melody of these people, monsters of folk who's singing. Yes. Um the bridge, the song structure. Unlike the Tupac one where it's just beat over and over and over again, sample, classic hip hop, I love it. This one had a little bridge where they they brought in the choir. Um and really just the choir of the same guy's voice over overdubbed it over and over again. Right. But the music is just the difference here. Yeah. That live sound, the live keyboard, the live bass, uh, the subtle changes that make it keep moving, the song structure, the music is what gets it here for sure. I don't know about everything else. I'm still going to have to go back and do some research and count. Although, yeah, I, 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 that's all I got to say, man. <laughs> oh, man. This right here, man, these similarities is crazy that we keep getting, but I love it. I love I love, I love, it. I love every single bit of it. Uh, a little bit of a sneak peek, to be real with you, I don't think that Tupac is going to win on the cultural content side of it, just letting you know. Well, I don't have a direct amount of points, but this is a, this is an overarching song, kind of like what we talked about with K. Reno versus Busta. He went mm -hmm. everywhere with it. All right, I'm trying to bring, went out, grabbed everybody and brought them in. You know what I'm saying? So, uh -huh. so we can definitely, I'm definitely pulling that uh, Black Thought's gonna win the cultural content side and also uh possibly the video side. I think the video side of it he has that he has that on lock as well because he did arc off into the beginning arced off with the with the boys running uh stealing from the store also with everyone watching the ambulance go by in the beginning the store that was that they did steal from and then going into the different people that's in the back of the taxi cab so you know you know mm -hmm. what i mean so they, yeah. they had a lot uh, of different characters. Y'all know, whenever I do these do these winter videos, I'm always giving points for all the different characters that you're bringing in because that's very important when you're making a video. You know what I'm saying? From the showgirl yeah. in the back taking the pictures with the guy to the guy who was asleep with the briefcase. All this stuff is important because it's important to what the video is trying to represent. So I see him winning that one as well. So, um, we may, you know, content of cultural importance, that is going to be a toss-up. I have to go through and count all of these different things because the amount of people locked up, the amount of people who, who depend on their mothers, who can reminisce, it has an extreme amount of cultural importance. Uh, we're going to say that there's a broader range of things that are culturally important um, in the Black Thought. But... The points may not add all the way up, but but more importantly, influence. Let's just be honest, dear mama. Um, without a doubt, and without being a sneak peek, do you know who's gonna win that? And is, the the margin is going to be big for Pac on influence. It's just gonna be big. If with if it wasn't Pac, if it was Crooked Eye or somebody like that. You know, um, the, the the influences is you know probably would go to Black Dog, but compared to Dear Mama, every Mother's Day. So, so what does somebody say in one of our our joints that every Mother's Day that comes out like summertime? Will Smith summertime comes out in the summer. It's become a cultural staple in the in the hip hop community, black, white, worldwide. Dear Mama comes on, you pay homage and respect. And we found out why in the poetic versing of his content, to, content today. So uh, that's a preview. We'll see who wins this come Friday, man. What, you, what else you got to say? Nah, I mean, they should know. We, You should know what influence is going to be. I mean, it's Tupac. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> come on, guys. <laughs> All right, man. Well, this is another close one, it seems like, man. But we'll see who wins. Yeah, once uh, we tally I it up. Like to, 
I would like to remind everybody that we're four and zero. Oh. <coughs> we're four and zero, oh. right? Don't worry. So, back half. You know. We got back half coming up. We got back oh, half. We man. got we got trades too, guys. Don't forget about them trades. We got them trades too. Oh uh, yeah. You mean the backups? Backups. Yeah, we got the. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, backups. We got we got we got the bench. We got the bench players we can gotta, bring in. You guys got a fire bench too. I had to trade a whole lot <laughs> just to get that tech nine, but uh, it was worth it. He won for me. He's one of the reasons why we're four and zero. Oh. Yeah, yeah. He he pulled that, that out. He did pull that out. All right, guys. Uh, With that being said, let's do it. What you got to say? That's all I got. Uh, you guys always check back on. All G's React and Team Box Cutter because you know they're not sending out them notifications. So, check with us every couple of days. Something's going up. Period. Something's going up. Period. Out. Period. Okay? All right. So, Peace. that's all I got to say. I am Nixon. We're out. We out. <laughs>